back to my channel Tekken Art. Hope you guys are doing good. Today we will talk about how to do the SQL Server instance patching for the failover Windows cluster. Okay. So before starting the session, I would request to each and everyone who are newly joined on channel, please like, do subscribe and don't forget to share. Please visit the channel playlist SQL Server DBA, more than 150 videos which can help you all the day-to-day -day activities. I have, a, I have covered a lot of interview questions also which can help you. Okay. So I got a request to, you know, uh, give up exact steps to how to do the patching for a cluster node. Okay. So I have created one document. Hope it will help and it will give the better understanding. So as you can see, hope you can see my screen. Okay. Uh, so we have a Windows failover cluster. Okay. The running instance tech 01. Okay. So we have a three node cluster, node one, node two, node three. So I have just given the graphical, uh, you know, view so that e easily we can understand. So now the scenario is we need to apply the service pack on uh, all the three nodes. Okay. So this is part of Windows failover cluster. So how to do that? Okay. Obviously we followed all the, you know, change management process and all. No, I'm not going to talk about the process stuff. I'm going to just uh, talk about here uh, the technical st steps, uh, how we can approach for the patchings. Okay. So there are 10 steps exactly you need to execute the same steps in a sequence wise you will achieve the, your goal okay so the first step is you know move all the instance of node 3 to either node 1 or node 2 so whatever the instance is running on a node 3 you need to move either 2 or either 1 okay so first step is like so make sure you have already moved the no, uh, all the instance to node 1 and node 2. So now you need to apply the SP3 on node 3. And after applying the SP3, third step is reboot the node 3. Okay, so you need to reboot the node 3. Now the fourth is move all the instance to node 3. So node 3 is now your, you know, uh, applied with SP3. So now you can, what you can do, all the nodes, all the instance you can, uh, you know, uh, move to node 3 because node 3 is now ready with sp3 so we can move all the instance to node 3 so that is your uh, fourth step all the instance need to node 3 the fifth is apply sp3 to node 2 then you can apply the sp3 on node 2 reboot the node 2 make sure seventh is make sure all the instance are still on a node 3 you need to do the cross verification whether the all the instance is running still on node 3 or not okay then apply sp3 on node 1 and reboot the node 1 and 10th last step is move all the instance back to desired nodes so this is the correct approach in a sequence wise to do the patching of failover windows cluster How, whatever the nodes you can achieve well, you can do the same way so it's a very easy very easy task firstly you start with a node 3 okay transfer all the instance to either node 2 and node 1 and apply patch here reboot it okay then after that transfer all the instance to node 3 because now node 3 is ready with the latest service pack apply on either node 1 or node 2 whatever you want choose it because no instance is running on node 1 node 2 you have already moved to node 3 so we can apply patch here node 2 reboot it then apply patch in node 1 reboot it and then at the last you can uh, do the failback whatever the desired node okay so through this way you can achieve the goal this is for the you know if you if you uh, consider the example here two node active active cluster okay so in that case the instance are running on a both node right so node one node two same instance are running on, on uh, both node okay so in that case what how to do that patching so it's also the same approach uh, you can move uh, no, uh, instance from node one from two node 2 okay so in that case what will happen on a node 2 both instance will running okay so during that time frame maybe uh, there is a pressure for uh, cpu or memory high but do, you can do off business hours so apply patch on node 1 and then fail back to all the nodes to node 1 and then apply patch on node 2 so active active also you can do the same approach just you in active active cluster only the thing is both uh, in uh, both the instance will run on a same node okay so this is the correct approach to do the patching for the cluster you know setup i got a request to you know uh, 
do the lab demo but i don't have uh, that much setup as of now so what you can i can suggest you can do in your lab with the same approach you can go with whatever the nodes is the three node four node five node cluster you can achieve the patching go, uh, requ uh, requirement like this only so exactly you perform all these 10 steps smooth your patching will be go smoothly okay so hope you like the points till that's it for today my motive was to tell you guys how to do the patching for windows server failover cluster with the correct approach okay we'll meet you soon till then bye bye thank you